another adventure. Today's adventure is a little special. It's actually going to be spanning over the weekend. We are going to be going to 22Q camp. Our daughter, Rachel, has a um, syndrome called 22Q 11.2 deletion syndrome. I will leave a link down below where you guys can find out more information about this syndrome. And we are actually going to go and we're going to meet with a whole bunch of other families and do kind of a family camp. We're going to meet with doctors. We're going to get to do fun activities and it's just going to be an awesome time. I'm probably not going to film a ton while we're there just to protect the privacy of those who are there, but I'll try and grab a few clips. But this vlog is going to be more about our adventures in San Antonio, Texas, where we're going and we're going to be going and seeing the Alamo and the water walk and all of those things. So we're going to take you along with us. Let's go. Joshua. Yeah. What do you want to say? I want to say I want to go with you. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right. So it is the end of day one of camp. Day one is really, really short. It's mostly just dinner, getting to visit with people, getting our cabin assignments. So we have this whole half of the cabin. Then there's some common rooms and then there's a family staying on the other side. So we are now just putting on all of our bedding, getting settled for bed, and then tomorrow will be a full day of camp full of fun and exciting um, activities, and we're going to have lots of sessions with different doctors for sending and telling us information about kids with 22Q. One second, are you excited? Yes, but I can't find my toes. Okay, I promise, we're going to help you. Are you guys ready? I'm going to resist this much cold. Here's your little t-shirt. We are walking, babe. There's a lot of walking that we do at camp. That's where we'll have the bonfire tonight. It's so cold. All right, show me. All right, let's see. <laughs> Probably, but we're still not gonna buy it. Each morning of camp starts out with warm-up dances and then the kids go off into their individual groups to do activities while the parents sit down and listen to several different seminars to help parents as we go through this whole thing with 22Q. After the morning sessions for the parents, we then get to rejoin our kids for different family activities. So here next we went to do some crafts. I need a headband, a necklace, and a bracelet. Am I back? That's awesome. All right, just, just what are you making? I'm making a basket. A basket. Yeah, it's going to attach to my wrist so we can get stuff to each other so we don't have to get <laughs> She made a hammock for her baby. For your what? Oh, a hammock. That's awesome. Yeah, it was. <laughs> what do you make it, Rachel? Sailboat. What? Sailboat. Oh, a sailboat. I know. I was like, okay. right, let me see the video. Nice. It's hard to accurately describe what this retreat means to our family but it's an opportunity for our daughter to get to meet kids with the same syndrome as she has, and she gets to know she's not alone. While we get to connect to other parents and other siblings of kids with 22Q and get support. I'm so excited. <laughs> Are you, I'm really glad you're excited. I'm so excited for the parade too. I know, you're excited about everything, aren't you? Yeah. You got a purple I'm helmet. A parade. Especially a parade of golf carts. Remember that? <laughs> Apparently not. Are you ready for bikes? Yeah. Kenzie, I don't think so. Wait, Kenzie. Look at me, girls. Say cheese. You peace out. <laughs> All right. Maybe. <laughs> Bye, girls.
Kenzie, wait, Kenzie, where are you going? Zip lines. Zip lines. <laughs> She's daddy's throw seeker. <laughs> no grown ups in the back. You're sitting next to Dada? One of the unique things about this camp is that not only is there places to stay, places to play and to eat, but everything is accessible to anyone with special needs. All of the camp counselors are specially trained with the kids to work with them. Everything has adaptions so that everyone can easily be involved. Here is some of the animals that they have that they use to work with the kids. It is just such a unique place. Getting ready to watch them on the zip line. You're going there. <laughs> you fit in it. I know you're so excited. Okay, she can do it. Let's watch her. She's probably going to be terrified. Oh no, she will not be terrified. She could outdo any, any adult guy, any teenage kid. She's like, the thrill seeker of all thrill seekers. <laughs> well, she gets really let, upset when she's not allowed that, to go on roller right? coasters. Right? We have a challenge. Gets hurt against us, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Look at that face! <laughs> Thumbs up? Yeah? <laughs> Okay, I believe it. <laughs> We're gonna go next. Okay. All right. See you later. See you later, guys. Oh, she's still smiling. Oh yeah. Oh, I see her. Oh, no, she's still smiling. Oh, she's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, girls, are you planning to scream or you think you can do it without screaming? I think we can do it without screaming. Really? I don't believe it. All right, I want to see it. <laughs> He's already. <laughs> you guys are so encouraging. <laughs> Might want to look down. Get ready! Get ready! You got this! Uh -oh. She's rethinking her life decisions. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the thing I want to see at all. Having a good time. No, no, it's actually very selfish because Sydney said she'll go if you're not scared. Oh, I see. Please don't be scared. Oh, I'm really scared. No! Alright, hold my hand. It's not going to be so high if you just do it. Rachel, stop talking! You're not <laughs> I would not say she's that scared because she's not looking, she's looking up. Aww. No, she's closing her eyes. Aww. It's so pretty. It really is r pretty up there. We have had a whole day of fun, of learning, of connecting, 
The kids are ready for the costume portion of the yeah, evening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Each kid wears their got which wears a special costume just for fun and we do a parade with beads where they throw out beads to all the kids and then we go have s'mores and do a big dance party karaoke party so the kids are very excited the parents are very tired but it is sure to be a fun night <laughs> oh, check out the lights, guys. The bonfire and dance party are definitely one of the highlights of camp every year. This year we had to do the dance party inside. We usually do it outside, but it was abnormally cold for Texas for this time of year. So we all, instead of getting up in jackets, decided to come inside and do our dance party. This is actually some footage of the pre-dance party before everybody else came inside. All right, so we're leaving the cabin. We got everything packed up. It's a ton of stuff. It's even more than what we came with because we have all sorts of freebies and goodies. And now we're headed to church. The camp goes throughout Sunday, so they have like a worship time in the morning for anyone who wants to come. So we went to that in the morning before finishing out the rest of camp. What is it? It's a big cooler. A water cooler. That's pretty cool. Do you know what this is? Morgan Hartman may not fully realize it, but she has provided the spark for so many good things benefiting individuals like her with special needs. It all started during a family vacation when she thought it'd be fun to splash and play with other kids in the hotel swimming pool. But much to Morgan's dismay, they took their beach ball and vanished. Observing this painful look on Morgan's face, her father resolved then and there to create a safe, colorful, barrier-free environment where those with and without special needs could come together and have fun and better understand each other. That was camp. Yeah, well, it's camp, and then they also have like a water park or a theme park, and it ha everything at the park is something that every kid can play with. So, like, even if they're in a wheelchair, or if they're blind, or if whatever it is, maybe one day. Not today. It's a water park, babe. It is like 40 degrees, so. That would not be a fun experience, but maybe some summer we can come down. It's a 102 acre paradise of play. Isn't that cool? Yeah. We ended our camp experience with more dancing and singing. We spent a lot of time doing that here at camp. Spending time getting to share what has been impactful to our family. And now stay tuned for part two where we go visit the Alamo.